Hello and welcome to the introduction of Label Cloud, the labeling tool for creating oriented bounding boxes in point clouds. Label Cloud supports users in creating training data for 3D object detection and 6D pose estimation. Users can annotate fully rotated bounding boxes around the X, Y, and Z axis. Label Cloud can handle seven different formats of colored as well as uncolored point clouds thus supporting both depth cameras and LiDAR sensors. The created bounding boxes can be exported in four different label formats. Label Cloud works on all common operating systems and is easy to install. We created Label Cloud due to the lack of suitable tools that support both the processing of multiple point cloud formats and an export for different detection frameworks. 3D computer vision is currently undergoing exciting developments as frameworks improve and new depth sensors enter the market. Currently, there mostly exist depth cameras based on stereo vision or infrared light and LiDAR sensors that measure the time of flight. The most apparent difference is that LiDAR point clouds do not contain color, whereas depth cameras provide color information. Existing labeling solutions mostly only supported one of both sensors. We support both and can load point clouds in seven different file formats. With our tool, we make it easier to create training data and therefore hope to foster 3D computer vision, also new application domains. Label Cloud can be used for robotics, autonomous driving, but also in any application you can think of that would profit from a 3D perception. Label Cloud automatically loads the first point cloud from the point cloud folder. You can navigate inside Label Cloud by holding the left mouse button and rotating the point cloud, or holding the right mouse button and translating the point cloud. Zooming works by using the mouse wheel or scrolling. Label Cloud offers two different modes for creating bounding boxes. The first one is the picking mode. To activate the picking mode, click Pick Bounding Box and simply move the cursor above the object of interest. Use your mouse wheel to adjust for the rotation of the object. And once the preview covers the object, simply click with the left mouse button. Now it's possible to further correct the parameters of the bounding box by using the buttons on the left hand side of the screen. With the arrows, you can translate the bounding box in the XY plane. The orientation is always your perspective on the bounding box. With the top left and right button, you can lift the bounding box up and down. The plus or minus buttons increase or decrease the size of the bounding box. And finally, you can also change the Z rotation of the bounding box by using the dial. You can also use key combinations for most control options. Use WASD for translating, Q and E for lifting, and Y and X for rotating. Also, you can use the mouse to manipulate individual dimensions. Simply hold your cursor above on sight and then scroll. With that, you can push or pull that side into the bounding box. To load the next point cloud, simply click Next. The generated label will be automatically saved in the label folder. The second label method is called Spanning Mode. It allows to iteratively span a 3D bounding box by selecting vertices. First, you can select any vertice from the object. Then, you select the second vertice, which represents the length of the object. From now on, the layer is locked. You can select any point that represents the width of the object. The last point is for calculating the height of the object. Thus, you can select any point in the point light that is on the same height as the object height. Here, you simply select the floor. Label Cloud then automatically generates the bounding box for you based on the points that you have selected. The next point cloud shows an object that is also rotated around the y axis. Label Cloud also supports the annotation of fully rotated objects, meaning also x and y axis. To activate this mode, go to Labels and deselect Z-Rotation only mode. Now it's recommended to use a spanning mode as it also covers for the Y-Rotation. You can simply label like before, select the vertices, then the width and finally the height and it will create an initial draft of the bounding box. 
Now you can adjust all the rotations by using C and V for Y rotation and B and N for X rotation. You can also rotate the bounding box using the mouse. Simply hold Ctrl and the left mouse button and you will rotate here around the X and the Z axis. It always depends on the perspective. Label Cloud also supports loading of colorless point clouds, like generated by LiDAR sensors. Here the points will be colored by the height. The lower the point, the darker the color. The higher the point, the brighter the color. You can label just like in the point clouds before. A lot of times are point clouds that come from sensors rotated, i.e. not aligned with the floor. In label cloud, the floor is represented by this grid here, which is not parallel to the floor of the point cloud. If you want to align a point cloud with the floor, i.e. the XY plane, simply go to settings and activate the align point cloud feature. Now, simply select three points on the floor of the point cloud. It's good if the span triangle is half over, half under the floor points. Label Cloud will automatically calculate the transformation and rotate the point cloud so that it's parallel to the floor. The internal representation in Label Cloud consists of three coordinates for the center of the bounding box, also known as centroid. The dimensions get stored as length, width, and height. And the rotations are persisted as absolute Euler angles, also known as roll, pitch, and yaw. The bounding box is rotated counterclockwise around each axis. The labels can be exported using the eight vertices, the absolute or relative parameters, or in common formats like the kitty format with only the heading angle. Label Cloud is easy to install. The installation takes less than two minutes and is the same for every platform. Simply clone the Label Cloud repository and install the dependencies. Then copy your files into the point cloud folder and run the labelcloud.py file. Labelcloud will be further developed and is open for feature requests. If you are interested or have an exciting project, do not hesitate to contact me.